Hi, I'm Jessica. We often receive requests from our users on how to locate data needed for the Affirmative Fair Housing Marketing Plan, or AFHMP. These users are preparing this plan and they aren't sure of the best way to go about accessing the data that's required for it. The good news is that all of the data needed on race and ethnicity, disability status, and the number of families with children under the age of 18 can be found through data.census.gov. Let me show you how. To start, using Google Chrome, go to data.census.gov and click on the Advanced Search button. For this example, I want to find data for Miami-Dade County, Miami City, the Miami Metropolitan Statistical Area, and Census Tract 10.02 of Miami. Let's start with selecting Miami-Dade County. Click on Geography, County, Florida. Scroll down and check the box next to Miami-Dade County, Florida. I also need data for Tract 10.02 of Miami, so I'm going to move back over to the Geography column and select Tract, Florida, Miami-Dade County, and then scroll down and check the box next to Census Tract 10.02, Miami-Dade County, Florida. To find Miami City, move back over to the Geography column Scroll down and select Place, Florida, and then click directly on the magnifying glass icon located in the upper corner of the column and use the resulting search bar to search for Miami. Once it pulls it up, check the box next to Miami City, Florida. Lastly, I want the Miami Metropolitan Statistical Area. To find this, move back over to the Geography column, scroll down a little bit more, and select the Metropolitan Statistical Area Micropolitan Statistical Area, and use the magnifying glass icon again to search for Miami. The first option that comes up for us is Miami, Oklahoma, which we definitely don't want. Underneath that one, though, there are two options for Miami the Miami-Fort Lauderdale-West Palm Beach, Florida metro area, and the Miami-Fort Lauderdale-Pompano Beach, Florida metro area. So how do we know which one of these MSAs to use? It's important to keep one thing in mind, particularly when you're looking at MSAs. It's not unheard of for an MSA to be redefined from one year to the next. Since there are two options provided here and both are for Miami, it would seem that this was the case. At some point, the Miami MSA must have been redefined. In these cases, if you don't know the correct MSA to use for the year of data that you're looking for, the safest bet is to use all of the options that are available. Since we don't know which MSA is the correct one that we should use, we'll play it safe and check the boxes for both the Miami-Fort Lauderdale-West Palm Beach, Florida metro area and the Miami-Fort Lauderdale-Pompano Beach, Florida metro area. Now we have all of the geographies that we need selected. Before I go any further, I want to explain that there are three tables that can be used to find all of the data required for the AFHMP. Two of these are data profile tables released by the American Community Survey, or ACS. They are DPO2 and DPO5. The other, B11004, is a detailed table released by the ACS. Since we already know the table IDs for the tables we need, we can use a shortcut to get all three tables at once. I'm going to navigate to the search bar at the top of the screen and click on it. Then enter DPO2, DPO5, and B11004. Just leave a space between each of the table IDs. Once I've entered this here, and I've confirmed that I have all five geographies selected as filters, I'm going to hit the search button found at the end of the search bar. This will bring up all three tables. DPO5, ACS Demographic and Housing Estimates. DPO2, Selected Social Characteristics in the United States. And B11004, Family Type by Presence and Age of Related Children Under 18 Years. Click on the table title of DPO5 to view the full table. 
The table defaults to the 2019 ACS one-year estimates. As a general reminder, the one-year estimates are only available for geographies with a population of 65,000 or more. In looking at the table, you're able to see data from Miami-Dade County, Florida, Miami City, Florida, and the Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach, Florida metro area. So this last geography answers our earlier question. It turns out that the correct MSA for 2019 was the one that includes Pompano Beach. But we're still missing the data for tract 10.02. This is because we're looking at the one-year ACS estimates. The tract does not have a population of 65,000 or more, so it's not being displayed. This means that we need to switch to the 2019 five-year ACS estimates to ensure that we receive data on all of the geographies that we selected. To quickly do this, click on the product menu found at the top of the table and select 2019 ACS five-year estimates. Now that we're using the five-year estimates, we can see that we now have data for the tract 10.02. We also still have data on the other three geographies that we selected as well. DPO5 is the source table for race and ethnicity data. If you scroll down the table, you'll come to the race section. This portion provides data for all of the race groups that are needed. White, Black or African American, American Indian or Alaskan Native, Asian, and Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander. If you scroll down a little further to the Hispanic or Latino and race section, you can locate the percent of people who are Hispanic or Latino. For Miami-Dade County, for example, this estimate is 68.5%. Next, let's find the data for the percent of people with a disability. This is what we will pull from the other data profile table, DPO2. From the left side of the screen, click on the table title to view this one. Since we selected the 2019 five-year estimates for the other table, this one now defaults to the five-year estimates as well. If we scroll about halfway down the table to the disability status section, and we look under the total civilian non-institutionalized population with a disability, we can see that the estimate for this is 10.1% for Miami-Dade County. The last piece of information we need, the percent of families with children under the age of 18, can be found in Table B11004, Family Type by Presence and Age of Related Children Under 18 Years. Click on it to view. Like the other table, it now defaults to the 2019 five-year estimates. Let's take a look at this table before we do anything else. This table is broken out by the type of family, married couple families, families with a male householder, no spouse present, and female householder, no spouse present. Then each of these categories includes a line with related children of the householder under 18 years. In order to get the percent of families with children under the age of 18, we'll have to do a little bit of calculating. First, we need to find the total number of families with related children of the householder under 18 years. To do this, take the number from the third line for married couple families with related children of the householder under 18 years and add that to the number from the 10th line for families with a male householder, no spouse present, with related children of the householder under 18 years. Then using the number from the 16th line for families with a female householder, no spouse present, with related children of the householder under 18 years, add that to the other two numbers. You should be left with a single number that represents the total number of families with related children of the householder under 18 years. So now we'll use that number to calculate the percent. Take the number that we just got for families with the related children, of the householder under 18 years and divide that by the total number found in the first line of the table. Then take that number and multiply it by 100 to get the percent. This is the percent of families with children under the age of 18 that you'll use. Please note that since we did the calculations ourselves, 
we do not have ready access to the margin of error that exists for this percent that we calculated. Let's use Miami-Dade County as an example. Take the estimates for the three family types with related children of the household are under 18 years. So the first one's 167,207. Uh, the next one is 27,157. And the last one is 88,386. So we add them together to get 282,750. We're going to take that number and divide it by the total number, in this case 606,448. That gives us 0.466. So now we'll take that number and multiply it by 100. That gives us 46.6. So this means that 46.6% of families in Miami-Dade County have children under the age of 18. The only other thing that we often receive questions about is how to get a map of the geographies that are needed. This is very easy to do, and we can use table B11004 as a starting point. From this table, click on the Customize Table button in the upper corner of the screen. Then hit the Map button at the end of the ribbon. It may take a few moments for the map to populate, but once it does, you'll see a map that outlines the different MSAs in the country. Navigate to Florida to view the map of the Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach MSA. You can use either Control P to print this map, or you can use the screen capture software to capture the image. To view a map of one of the other geographies, use the geography menu found at the top of the table. If we switch it to county, for example, the map will automatically update to display Miami-Dade County. You can do the same thing to view Miami City by switching it to place. or track 10.02 by switching it to census tract. As you've seen, between tables DPO2, DPO5, and B11004, you can quickly get all of the data that's required to complete the AFHMP. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.